We are live. Let me see if we can start uh, adding some of our guests. I know that a lot of people uh, were extremely, extremely uh, happy to participate today. So let me see if I can find them. In the meantime, thank you so much to everyone to having joined our Cosmos Community Call. Uh, we are going to have as main topic the Cosmos Hub recent um, proposal job that was made by Damien from Simply Staking. I see that Simply is here as well. Let me see. Okay, I'm inviting all of the validator that I see around. Just let me know, guys, if you are able to join. Oh, I see Damien. Oh, one second, Damien. Do, 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 do. Pa, 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 pa. A lot of people. Mm -hmm. Oh, hi, Adriana. Uh, happy to see you here. Would you mind to introduce yourself while I'll try to uh, catch all the participants from the call? Yeah, for sure. Hi. Hi, everyone. And thank you, Daniela, for hosting this space. So much needed right now. Uh, for the future direction of um, communities' implementations towards uh, Cosmos Hub. Um, I'm Adriana. Uh, I'm a long-term community um, uh, contributor on, uh, on Cosmos Hub. Um, been in this space for um, a few years now. Um, currently at uh, EIB, uh, doing uh, marketing and uh, community. Um, and I also have um, a validator, Kalpatech, um, that we have since uh, since genesis of the Cosmos Hub. And we are willing to contribute uh, very productively towards um, the future uh, direction of the hub and all the good ideas that are coming from the community regarding um, how to shape this, um, um, uh, this feature and uh, how to get alignment over um uh, the proposed uh, implementations for for the hub okay that's cool and actually i'm extremely happy to see that something that was proposed not so long ago was to from even another team and transform into a draft that today we can read in the um, forum uh in my opinion this looks an amazing community effort. Uh, and this is something that it's not that common in general in the crypto space. Usually you have this only only big um, central team that wants to uh, coordinate or try to coordinate the most of the effort while we have here so many contributors, so many independent participants that just want to say, hey, you know, I have this idea, I just want to refine, I will help you. like. They take the initiative and it's so great. We have so much value for, for the app. I'm sure that we, uh, if we were able right now to come back together, gather together, together and remind that our diversity is a value and not something we should fight or fear, uh, I'm sure that everything is going to be amazing. Do, do, do. Oh, okay. Rob and Damien both join at the stage. Hey, guys, please. Uh, first of all, thank you so much to have joined the call today. Uh, would you mind both to introduce yourself for the uh, for our community? Uh, maybe, Rob, you can start first and then Damien, you can follow. Hey, everyone. I am uh, Rob Stack and I am uh, just a community member. And uh, I'm really attracted to governance and uh, all the dynamics around Cosmos. I think uh, it's pretty visible that I am really passionate sometimes on Twitter and on Telegram. And uh, I think it's, uh, it's very important, uh, this discussion right now, because uh, after all the discussion about Atom 2.0, we really need to uh, come together as community and start... Uh, a collaborative approach uh, in these upcoming proposals. I think that uh, the community tax is a good start because uh, this is a proposal coming uh, from uh, also from the opposition to Atom 2.0, and it is a viable option. I, I agreed uh, to, to this proposal when, uh, when it came as uh, opposition. And 
I think it will be very important to hear, uh, especially the validators, because uh, they will be mostly affected by this proposal. And uh, especially bottom validators, uh, I, I would will, I will personally like to see if there is some option that maybe can help bottom validators to not get hurted too much uh, about the community tax. But uh, overall, I think this is a first step uh, to move together, to start a collaboration again. And I think it's very important because uh, the community is very tired about uh, the bear market, the heavy discussion. And uh, we really need to start a community efforts and move together again uh, for uh, the best of the Cosmos Sub. I couldn't agree to uh, to that point, Rob, um, more. Um, I believe it is very essential for us as a community to come together um, to discuss these ideas that have emerged um, through the Atom 2.0 discussion and see um, where we are able to get consensus as a community uh, moving forward with uh, these initiatives. Because um, on the topic of this discussion, the community uh, pool tax increase um, uh, what um, um, uh, the entire community um, has already agreed on is that we need more money in the community pool um, needed for funding uh, teams uh, that are able to build um, and contribute to, uh, to Cosmos Hub future vi uh, vision. Um, and there is no question to, uh, to this argument. We are all in alignment here. We want to see more money in the community pool. We have seen how uh, large community pools can help with um, uh, driving further adoption um, of, um, of the technology. And we believe this is definitely needed for us to um, move um, um, in a faster pace and be able to experiment with different teams within the community that have different ideas on, uh, on how to uh, proceed with future implementations of the hub. So there is no uh, disagreement here. Um, it's just um, us finding uh, solutions on how to best be able to do that uh, in order to keep um, 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 core values like uh, transparency, like accountability um, um, in, in place, uh, core values which define our, our community and uh, our, our ecosystem. Yeah, so, this yeah, is 100%. 100%. 100%. Um, I see, but uh, yeah, we still have Damien. Like Damien is the proposal of a draft that we can, you all can read in the forum right now. Damien, can you please introduce yourself and explain a little bit more um, the thought behind the proposal draft that you have done and the initial feedback that you have received? And maybe we can have Imperator. Hi, Imperator. Hi, guys. Thank you for joining to introduce themselves as well. Sure. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah. Awesome. So yeah, I'm uh, Damien. I'm from Simply Staking. Um, I mean, just a bit about Simply Staking. Um, we're a Genesis uh, validator for the hub, and we're currently building an ICS chain. Um, but there'll be more details on that uh, coming out soon. Um, I'm also joined in this call uh, by a colleague of mine, Francesco. He's uh, somewhere in the in the call. Um, so some context about why we wanted to kickstart the discussions um, about, you know, increasing the tax on the community pool is that, uh, well, the Cosmos Hub community pool is kind of lacking in terms of liquidity, especially when you compare it to, you know, other projects like Polkadot, um, who have like, I think over 3% of its entire value in its treasury pool. Uh, you have osmosis, which is like ten percent of of uh, its total value is 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 uh, in its community pool, um, whereas Cosmos um, has like zero point five percent locked away in its liquidity pool, which is roughly like thirty million dollars worth of 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 uh, atom tokens. Um, so in our eyes, we saw that uh, the need to fill up the pool uh, was clear. Uh, in 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 sense to give the hub uh, sort of more breathing room, uh, more capital when it came to um, funding or incentivizing projects and development, um, you know, it, it, in the future. Um, so from what we had seen um, in sort of 
prior discussions, you know, prior proposals, uh, was that um, about the way to sort of bootstrap the community pool, uh, we thought that a community tax rate would be a less um, kind of controversial proposal, um, given that the sort of mechanism of, of having a community tax, is, it already exists, right? Right now it's at 2% um, per block, essentially, right? Um, and we felt that, you know, starting this discussion, um, you know, both parties from, from previous discussions would sort of like get behind this, which is, which is what uh, we're sort of seeing um, on the forums and, and in general. Um, if I have some time, I can uh, share some sort of like some, su a summary of, of what's going on in, in the forum right now, just some key takeaways that I feel should be um, spoken about. So, um, yeah, absolutely. Yes, I think that these will help greatly the community and the audience uh, here listening to the conversation to understand a little bit more about the context because I'm 100% sure that it's not that easy lately to follow up everything about the Cosmos Hub governance. So please, I mean, if you feel like, go ahead and just uh, catch up every one of us about the latest, about the proposal. Sure. Okay, so uh, from what I have gathered from you know general feedback, is that there's quite a bit of support um, when it comes to a ten percent community tax, which is um, you know it's it's five times the amount of of the two two percent that's currently there. Um, general sentiment is that this figure, the ten percent, is um, you know is is the right figure initially, especially due to you know future launch of ICS and consumer chains and and some other things. I, I think the need to sort of bootstrap the community pool, uh, essentially front load it is is um, uh, a decent start. Um, I raised the point because uh, there were some people that were like uh, five percent should be the way or or or, or uh, s stuff along those lines. I raised the point that, um, you know, psychologically speaking, or um, j just generally speaking, having uh, multiple proposals to increase taxes uh, wouldn't sit so well. So, uh, you know, uh, initially a higher rate should be um, uh, proposed. And then if it's if the pool is filling up too quickly, then, you know, a proposal to reduce the taxes would be easier to pass, right? Um, there have been uh, two polls that I've that I am aware of, right? There's one by Adriana, um, and there's one by Cosmo Station, just asking the general public or their followers what they think about um, the rate going forward. Um, I last time I checked, I think Adriana's there was like ten percent. Um, was the majority and Cosmos Station 5% was the majority. Um, so there's some sort of um, mixture between um, what people think should be the rate going forward. Obviously, on Twitter, it's more likely to be that the delegators are, are voting on this. And obviously, when you propose higher taxes, they're going to be like, you know, no. <laughs> so they just want to maximize, you know, as much as they can the rewards. Um, there, there was also a, quite an interesting idea um, put forward recently about a dynamic tax rate, uh, which is like reviewed every so often. Um, it's quite interesting, but I think there needs to be a bit more discussion on that. And most likely there has to be some sort of like entity or committee that sort of gives out these recommendations on uh, what the tax rate should be based on like some parameters. But yeah, I think there needs to be more more discussion uh, on that. Um, yeah, uh, I just want to like highlight that these sort of taxes um, shouldn't be considered like a like a a detriment to staker rewards. It should be considered a sort of reinvestment of funds, right? To sort of create a future value. Um, you know, which in turn would bring you know further further utility to the uh, Cosmos Hub uh, in the long term. Uh, in the proposal, I also mentioned like uh, how much sort of APR would be affected 
uh, with with these taxes. I, I think this is something that you know the delegators should know. Um, like right now, the APR is what maybe twenty twenty one percent. If 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 taxes were to go up to the the ten the ten percent that you know that uh, it, we're, we're we're proposing, um, the APR should go down just by like eight percent to uh, a range you know nineteen point five percent um apr on on staking which is still pretty 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 high in my opinion um so yeah uh that that was just the the context and the summation of of what i've gathered so far so thank you so much damien i think it was really much needed uh, I still think that now that you mention it, uh, we are maybe lacking about some practical calculation that we can share to the community in the meaning that uh, making hypotheses. So are we going to opt for the 10 percent? OK, you have to expect these, um, not because they should take these as main point to choose what, in their opinion, is the best but because it's correct to set the right expectation. But I think that uh, imperators still have to introduce themselves. Hey guys, do you mind to introduce yourself and maybe have, say a couple of words about what do you think about the proposal? Yeah, sure, okay, can you hear me? Yes. Uh... Okay, perfect. So yeah, uh, my name is Cam. Uh, I'm taking care of the strategy and growth at, uh, at Imperator. And yeah, so our opinion on the current uh, tax proposal is, uh, first of all, we are for it because uh, obviously it's, it's a less controversial proposal than just minting Atom. So yeah, we agree to increase the community tax because right now the, the pool on the Cosmos Hub is is in a very poor state. For example, I think, yeah, right now the Cosmos Hub has like something... Uh, close to 10 million of USD, whereas Osmosis has 50 million of USD. And, and we need to improve this situation. We have to do something on it. And increasing the tax is obviously uh, one great solution. The, and now we just have to come to an agreement uh, to decide how much, what, what will be the percentage. And I agree that right now there's a lot of consumer chains that are, that are coming and so on. And having a tax rate at 10% is great because what's great also with the, the community tax is, is that it's very flexible. So we can start with, for example, 10% at the beginning. And if it's, and then if it's too much, if you have like the community fund is, is huge enough, then just reducing it. So that's, that's great with the community tax and having like uh, something with the, 10% at the beginning is great because it will also correspond to the atom to panel vision and the 4 millions going to the community tax. Um, and this is something that I, I can see on the different discussion that most people agree on. So yeah, my opinion is that starting with 10% could be great. And then if if we need to be more conservative on the on the tax, then just doing a commu an, another proposal to reduce the tax. So that's it. Yeah, that's our main uh, main opinion about the the, the current uh, situation. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much for your feedback. Maybe Adriana, you can tell us a little bit more about your personal position and position of your validator about the current proposal. For sure. So um, I would like to go back to. Um, what Damien has said, and also um, Imperator, um, is that um, we have to um, uh, let the community understand first um, why we believe that 10% and why Calpatech, for example, supports a 10% uh, increase in, um, um, in the community tax. Um, the numbers are very tied uh, and in agreement to the Adam 2.0 uh, white paper. Um, um, I know that there has been like a lot of effort going into uh, the white paper from different contributors and um, they have made some calculations based on their predictions on um, how much money um, uh, they will need as a, as a community in order to bootstrap uh, some of the initiatives that we are proposing for, um, uh, for Cosmos Hub. Uh, that figure, uh, which was proposed to be minted in the first year, 
was exactly 4 million uh, atoms. Um, um, I'm not saying that this is the right figure or not. I'm just building on the plan that was laid out in uh, atom 2. So going from this figure, uh, which was estimated as needed capital for the first year, of course, that would be um, the atom 2.0 white paper um, also mentioned that there will be additional tranches every year. But if we were to focus on the first year, uh, the need, as, as they highlighted, was of four million atoms. So um, part of our reasoning with the um, uh, know with veto uh, for uh, prop um, 82 was exactly that. Um, we understood uh, that um, in order to reach the same um, the same amount which is needed and proposed uh, by the white paper, um, an easier solution, which will involve not minting of atoms and therefore um, 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 uh, changing the entire tokenomics of, um, of a project who is already uh, three years into, into mainnet, um, we can use a community pool because we have already a system in place which works uh, perfectly, uh, which is part of the existing tokenomics. And all it will need is just a change in its percentage in order to achieve the same result which was proposed by um, the minting um, of, uh, of the new atoms with the white paper. Um, so uh, with a short calculation, which we did very early on, part of the vote was that um, in order for us to reach that amount, uh, we just need to increase the tax to from 2% to 10%. And that will result in this additional 4 million uh, in, in the treasury, in the community pool um, uh, of um, uh, calculated per, per year. Of course, that we have to take into account that the calculation um, uh, formula for, for the um, allocation of the atoms and the distribution of the atoms in the community pool uh, is dependent on some uh, parameters which are dynamic. Um, uh, uh, parameters such as like how many atoms are bonded and how much is the staking APR. And these are being multiplied and uh, you are adding the community uh, pool tax. And uh, in this way, you're resulting the number of uh, atoms uh, which are going to be collect collected in the, in the community pool. Which means that uh, any change in those two parameters, which uh, depend um, uh, from the community tax collection, will result in a more or less collection of, um, um, of, um, of the atoms in the community pool. So we have to account for that. But if we were to analyze, like, how would collection look like if those parameters were um, um, not changing too much on a one-year base, it will roughly go to the 4 million um, atoms. So that's why we are uh, so much in support of this proposal because one, it will allocate the funds that were requested as being needed. And secondly, we are not changing tokenomics of the project. Uh, we're just adjusting um, a parameter, which is the community tax, uh, tax pool to a larger amount. Um, I agree with um, um, with um, the voices here saying that in time, and this is also something which I flagged in my um, in my contribution on the forum. In time, we'll have to understand. Okay, what will impact um, uh, those parameters uh, in a way to um, have more or less uh, atoms collected in the pool? Um, because if there will be larger impacts on um, on the project, for example. Uh, if we expect ICS to be successful, and um, uh, we do, uh, we expect a lot of consumer chains to uh, to emerge um, um, uh, needing uh, interchain security from the hub, which will mean that, for example, atoms takers will be incentivized to bond their atoms in order to earn um, uh, to earn tokens from the chains uh, which are being validated by the uh, Cosmos hub validators for the consumer chains. So we expect, for example, um, uh, the, a, the parameter of, um, of bonded atoms to increase, which means that the, the staking AP, APR will decrease as a result of that. So in a way, we expect dynamic to happen uh, within these two parameters. Um, and um, if that will happen and that will result in, for example, less collection in the community pool, uh, because uh, because of that, 
um, I believe the community should be open to reassess that uh, when the time comes, uh, maybe in a few months, maybe in six months, maybe in one year, when we'll have um, exactly um, a very good picture of how um, um, how ICS is working and how many consumer chains, how many uh, people are incentivized to bond the atoms and reassess, if needed, uh, the adjustment of the community pool tax. Yeah, both really clear, the point that you made, and I think it makes a lot of sense. It really resonates. Uh, there are a lot of variables, as you say. Uh, we can really uh, just wait for uh, ICS to start its work and just seeing how many uh, consumer chain are going to be deployed and how things are going to be uh, in this new universe that ICS represents for the world cosmos up and the world cosmos for some degree. Um, Rob, now I would really like to hear from a community member because I, of course we are all here for com as community members like who really deeply cares about the cosmos up, but I think that one really passionate community member that uh never never um uh took a step back from being advocate of cosmos even past month was rob without any doubt um so maybe rob you can um picture the situation from a cosmonaut side maybe you can tell us what do you think about this proposal and how do you see um these uh minting slash uh uh, increasing taxes, uh, how do you feel these changes? How do you feel this direction from a cosmonaut perspective? Sure, I, I think that uh, it's all in the picture or, uh, of uh, what the Cosmos sub is becoming, because uh, in the past years, we, we simply saw the Cosmos sub as uh, this uh, neutral hub that uh, that should work as a port city because uh, basically last year we worked to move the hub as a port city with the, the gravity decks, the gravity bridge. But uh, now we we basically uh, switched the mentality towards uh, um, an interchain service provider, which uh, which will be the first service interchain security. So this clearly open to a bit of. Uh, uh, a bit of difficulty in the community to digest uh, the new position of the hub because it is a big changing because uh, if we think uh, as an interchain provider basically the cosmos hub is an up chain an up chain that uh, basically provides services to, to to many other chains and in particular to the consumer chains so this make this, it's a big change and uh, I, I do understand that many community members felt lost and maybe didn't felt uh, represented anymore by the hub and the, the idea that they had of the hub. But um, I mainly stand for uh, what uh, the on-chain governance decide. And uh, in fact, as soon Atom 2.0 was rejected, uh, as a community member, uh, I quickly look at that, uh, the, the idea of Adriana and supported it because uh, we have, uh, if we want to look uh, to a decentralized hub that basically will sustain themselves long term, we really have to, we really have to come to collaboration because uh, if we start to fight uh, over idea, I don't think <laughs> a decentralized network uh, will last longer because uh, it is really tiring and many people will, uh, will basically leave the network because uh, uh, the world where we live, it's basically already a bit stressful. The, the situation worldwide, it's not easy. So uh, do you hear me? I think yes, I yes. The so most of people here basically is in Cosmos because it is passionate about the community and uh, they see Cosmos as a place to stay, which is out of all this madness uh, around the world. And uh, the community have to come together, they have to realize that uh, the Cosmos Sub now is moving in this direction of interchain, of interchain services provider. So this will lead uh, to make decisions that uh, are not easy. And uh, in this sense, uh, I agree on the community tax because uh, 
I see the need to have a capital that is independent from any external companies because this will empower the hub to really push uh, forward to real revenue, which will be all the services that we can build uh, uh, around the hub. So as a community member, I basically moved to realize to this idea, which is, uh, I do understand that it's not easy, but uh, it's, uh, it's our, uh, it's basically it's our mission as cosmonauts to help uh, every other community members to, uh, to understand all the dynamics that are now around the hub and uh, moving towards uh, a better collaboration between validators, community members, uh, people that build, because uh, I, see a, I see a lot of uh, disrespect actually that happened in the last weeks. And I think uh, this, is, uh, this is really sad to see because uh, I think deeply we are all people that really care about this network. And uh, probably the discussion uh, took over a little bit uh, and uh, probably some statement wasn't uh, uh, completely, uh, completely uh, well-timed. And, uh, and yeah, basically, I think that we have now have a chance to restart and, uh, and basically start a, a way where we can go with one proposal at a time towards uh, what the Cosmos Sub will become. To add a bit more on, on what Rob say, yeah, it's exactly that. I mean, we are all here for the good of the Cosmos Hub and we have to act for, for the good of the Cosmos Hub. The, the, the proposal uh, 82 doesn't mean anything right now. We just have to get reunited, uh, see what was good on the Atom 2.0 paper, see what wasn't and see how we can improve it all together. And this is how we bring value to the Cosmos Hub. And just to add a bit more on what Adriana said, so it's true with um, interchain security and all the ICS chains that are coming, it, it will maybe uh, people will start uh, staking and this will reduce the APR on the, on the Atom token. But what's also great is that um, ICS chains will also provide uh, some a part of their inflation and a part of their transaction fee directly to Atom stakers. So the impact on the um, on the global APR it will obviously reduce maybe on the Atom side because there will be more people staking Atom and this will increase the the bonding ratio. But on the other part, all those stakers will receive uh, all the transaction fee, a part of the transaction fee and the inflation of the ICS chains. And and in that part, so we, we can't really know uh, what will be the impact on the total uh, on the total APR for item stakers. So the, the thing is with the success of ICS, and if we have many consumer chains that are coming, then the I APR will be great because they will all the item stakers will receive the, the rewards from all those uh, ICS chains. And that's great. Oh, not sure if there's a... And yeah, I think we, <laughs> I think we lost the connection with Daniela. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think uh, I think I agree with you because um, uh, you were a with the beat of others, but now you are already starting uh, to uh, to help uh, to reach uh, a collaboration point. So I'm really happy to see uh, this. Uh, started between uh, validators in the ecosystem. I think it's very important. And uh, as community, as a, just as a community member, I'm, uh, I'm very positive for this, uh, for this proposal and uh, to hear uh, even more validators. I think it will be very important to hear all the validators before going on chain. For sure. And to your point, Rob, um, I, I want to second that because no matter what our vote was, uh, it was uh, yes, it was no, it was abstained, it was no evito. In the end, um, I believe and um, I, I'm I'm very confident in, in this affirmation that uh, everyone just wants the best for the hub. Um, it's not something which uh, we are not uh, in agreement. 
um, just the way to, to get there, of course, we have different uh, opinions on uh, what we believe it, it's best. Um, some relate to, um, uh, uh, you know, like, like I mentioned before, like core values, decentralization, transparency, accountability, um, um, changes of tokenomics. Um, others uh, believe in the vision that, yes, we like the vision. We understand that um, th there can be like um, um, better changes. Um, so it's just the way we are approaching um, uh, this narrative is different. But in the end, everyone was the best for the hub. And um, I'm sure that everyone who has voted, no matter what their vote was, uh, their intent is to find the right path, um, which is a path which is embraced by the entire community, which is accepted by, by everyone, um, which, which gives us on, on a good path uh, moving forward. So there is no question on, on that. Yeah, absolutely. One thing that I wanted to point out uh, from my side is that, in my opinion, uh, it's it's a great value to have different opinion because these uh, can bring a lot, a lot more value than just agree all together to one thesis. Uh, but our real trade as cosmonauts so far was always to gather together after every proposal and say, hey guys, okay, we all know that we have different point of view. We all know that we have different opinions, but hey, uh, now we have to get things done. So we are going to just take the best from every proposal and build what is our like our personal as a community really best i think that we are now in this very very important step of gathering together and just bring uh the light on what is the real concrete solution for the hub uh one thing i would like to ask to francesco i i see francesco here as well um uh, Francesco and Damien, if they have any idea about how they should proceed with the proposal, is there any deadline to present the proposal on chain? Is there any process that you want to get done before uh, any other feedback, any other review, any other person that you want to get involved before uh, getting in on chain? Do you have any, you can share, if you can share, of course, if you can share with us the next step about this draft proposal. Hello, everyone. Um, as as you said, I'm I'm Damien's colleague. That's in mistake. So in general, we're just interested in knowing opinions, um, especially those against the proposal, because um, so that we can work together. Because uh, I'm sure, as as it is with most proposals, not, they're not 100 percent yeses. So if we can get the opinions um, of people who are against, and you know, the best work together that way. I think that that is that is definitely probably the main thing right now. Um, I think it would be very good to set a timeline for when this like when we should post the proposal, saying something like you know having it passed through by end of year sounds like a cool target in my, in my opinion, even though um, we haven't specifically we've mostly been discussing the merits of the proposal itself rather than you know a timeline. However, just off the cuff, in my opinion, like if we could get this proposal um, submitted, you know, sometime in December and by end of year, um, we would have, um, you know, t a ten percent community tax uh, to start, you know, twenty twenty three. That sounds good. Um, I think in general, in general, sort of then after the proposal, this is just one step part of a longer roadmap um, next year we then need to work together to form um, some kind of structure to actually spend um, the community pool um, but I think it's it's a great first step um, so yeah I'd like people's opinions especially those against proposal and also related to the timeline of because we don't want to rush it we want to make sure that everyone um, puts in their opinion I also heard some points about Atom 2.0. There were some non-English speaking communities which um, felt left out. So I think it's really important for us to ensure that these people, their opinions are considered. Um, and on the Cosmos Forum, um, possibly because it's English speaking, they may be left out. So I think that's a, 
but that's a part of the community that ourselves that simply we don't really have a reach there. I think the Korean community specifically had some issues. Uh, I, I know Cosmo Station uh, took part in the discussion on the forum. Um, I, I think Damien had reached out to one of them. Uh, but uh, I think we just need to ensure that we don't want to rush this. We want to make sure that everything is uh, discussed and for the best outcome for the network. Yeah, what do you say uh, is extremely important? And I just want to introduce, uh, not introduce, but just mention the fact that there are a lot of work in progress to improve uh, uh, how governance is perceived by the community because we think that we should be, we should, we can and we must be more inclusive than how governance was so far, uh, involving more local communities, uh, making more translations. So there is work in progress, reaching out valuable teams and community members to try to see uh, how we can make this happen. Because of course, uh, it can happen only if it's a shared uh, vision and if a uh, shared commitment. Um, but one of my personal uh, goal will have been having more translations and start considering platform as Commonwealth or other more community friendly platform for uh, our conversation, because I think that we are still, I mean, I have this sensation we still have not find a, as community our on governance home, like a place that we can tell, okay, this is our place. This is the place where we have this conversation. We have a lot of sub places, a lot of uh, small communities uh, talking about this, but a very, very unique place that we can, we feel deeply involved with. I think we still have to find this. Uh, but maybe all of you have different ideas about what uh, what what kind of changes do you expect from the Cosmos Hub governance? What and from every one of us to make this process to make our uh, hub better. So maybe uh, Adriana, maybe oh, I see that uh, Made in Block a team also join at the conversation. Maybe Made in Block team, can you please? Uh, introduce yourself and tell us what do you think we can do to improve Cosmos Hub governance. Oh, hello guys! I'm Troiano from Made in Block, and um, I wanted to say that uh, what Francesco said about uh, uh, the proposal that doesn't need to be rushed because it's really important right now to figure out uh, which parameter we want to consider for a, um, a tax rate change. Because if you want, if you want to make it dynamical, uh, we need, of course, to take in consideration uh, how ICS is going to take its development, uh, how the staking API is going to change for those that secure the network. But we also pointed out on forum that it might be interesting to set uh, the goal of how much we we want to reach for the community pool in terms of uh, fiat value, so in dollars, because um, I think it, it can be interesting. Damien pointed out that having fiat goals can lead to potentially high tax rates, especially if the price of Atom uh, um, were to dip significantly. And that's true, we agree with him. But um, indeed, the purpose of relying on fiat-based gold should aim to uh, a conservative and more realistic approach in terms of market conditions. And we may also take in consideration to enforce like a maximum tax variation per quarter. So let's say, for example, that the proposals um, aim to pass is with a 5% tax rate and uh, a goal of $15 million dollars which approximately right now it's like 1.5 million atom, 25% uh, less atom that we are actually going to accumulate with a consistent 5% tax. And uh, uh, let's say that we settle down also a maximum rate change of 5%. It be, could be interesting after every quarter um, to change the, the rate uh, based on the average price of those nine, 90 days occurred. So if the market lowered the average price, we may consider to increase the tax rate still with the limited cap. And um, if not, we can keep the same rate or even lower it. So like, let's say after four quarters, the worst case scenario, 
will be with a community t- community tax uh, at a maximum twenty percent uh, and a total of five million atom half million from the first quarter, one million from the second, one point five million for the third, and two million from the last one. Uh, considering like a five percent increase of each quarter, as I said, that's the worst case scenario. And in order to consider our initial goal achieved, the price should be around three dollars. And I think that's the way we think that's the way we should go. Um, and consider considering also the development side of the ICS. Uh, I don't know your opinion about this. If you want to share with me, I would gladly appreciate it. Okay, thank you so much for your opinion. I think that it is uh, a new one. I mean, new voice, new <laughs> new input. I think that uh, you are opening up a new a new idea. Uh, one, I think that Damien and Francesco maybe want to reply to you. I would just like to step in uh, for a couple of minutes on Blocks United. Because I see that you have joined it, guys. I'm sorry to have seen you, having <laughs> checked it on you earlier. Uh, I'm sure that mm, you want to share about the governance process ongoing and what it's, uh, what your folks are as well. And maybe Francesco and Damien can reply to both of you guys after that Box United have shared their opinion as well. Sure. Thank you so much for uh, including us. Uh, we've had to log out and log back in. Uh, I, don't, I don't know, weird Twitter issues, but we're super thrilled about all the positive discussion that's been going on and um, the split in the community coming together to talk about this potential proposal. It's really great to see. And um, we saw a lot of great stuff on the Cosmos forum and wound up actually posting a survey on Reddit. And um, our quick math was a 5% tax would reduce staking rewards to 19%. A 7% tax would reduce them to 18.6%. And a 10% tax would reduce staking rewards down to 18%. And um, the survey respondents on Reddit, over overwhelmingly, with the exception of one or two, were all for the 10% tax and reducing staking APR from 20% to 18%, roughly. And um, I think we agree with that. And um, we love the idea of a dynamic tax that goes up and down depending upon what kind of funding has gone into the pool. Um, We have one question about that. Uh, Would it be something that's automated or does it require human beings to actually manually raise and lower the tax? And, you know, we would be for something that's automated, preferably. And then uh, my last comment would be, We've been paying paying really close attention to the Stride team, and they are taking applications for uh, council members who will evaluate validators for Stride's delegations of, you know, Adam on the host chain on the hub and, and Osmo and everything else. And we're wondering if there is a dynamic tax that goes into place that can go up and down. And if it does have to be manual uh, and if there does have to be a council, um, would we potentially look to Stride's example where their council rotates every three months along with their delegations and they do that to avoid uh, entrenchment of council members and potential conflicts of interest. And, um, you know, we, we just think that that's a cool idea. And so I just wanted to throw all that out there and let you know that we are for the 10% tax and would do everything we could to uh, to promote it and spread the word and to try and help people understand. And we're thrilled to be here and I'll shut up. Thanks. Cool. So to sort of immediately answer, I'll get to the previous point as well. To immediately answer a question, uh, currently, the tax rate is is only like um, can only be changed through a governance proposal, um, so, and there isn't like one address or one multi sig or one council that can change it. Um, possibly, this is something you can look into the future. In, in my opinion, uh, I feel like if we introduce some kind of system like that in this proposal, that's just going to further delay things by by uh, quite a stretch. Um, so I think. That that could possibly be something that could be looked into in the in the long term. In my in my opinion, um, sort of speaking from my opinion. Um, 
regarding regarding it is somewhat is connected to the previous point uh, around the community pool target and it, so that we set a community pool target and, and if this target is reached and uh, the community pool can decide to decrease uh, the tax so as to sort of you know change the inflows into the pool um i i think this is something that we need to discuss um, like something like that like i think you're you had quite a few points and i feel like in reality it's probably best you write out the the you write it out on the form in my opinion it's like more structured uh, other people can discuss there as well uh, sort of some initial thoughts i think it's quite a good idea in reality the the the, the chat we had uh, sort of what we spoke about where we could say that you know if we think it's too much the 10 percent tax and uh, we decrease it in the future um, is somewhat around that, but it was sort of less structured than your thought of having a sort of goal for the pool. And then when we reach that goal, um, we decrease from there. Or if we realize that not much funding is happening and the money is just remaining there, and or we, hadn't, we haven't built a, a structure yet to use the pool, then we can decide to um, lower the tax rate. Um, so one, so we, ha- we have two options, I think. Either we just go with the 10%, uh, in a, without a goal, and then in the future, if we realize we have too much, um, we can reduce it sort of there and then. Or else uh, we can decide on a community pool goal now, and then in a year's time, if that community pool goal is reached, we would have to pass another proposal to reduce it. Um, so the, in my opinion, like w- if we take the decision now, um, to have a community pool goal, I think, like regardless whether we take that goal or not, in a year's time when it comes to reduce the tax rate, um, probably people will take the. So I, I'm trying to structure stru- structure my thoughts. So I, I think um, it may not make a difference, in my opinion. Uh, like if we just decide that, so if next year, come a year's time, right, and we see that. There's, not not much is happening with the community pool, but there's too much. And we should probably decide there and then to reduce it rather than deciding on a community pool target now um, because it all ends up getting to social consensus. Uh, it's, I, I, I think, what are other people's thoughts on this? Um, so I don't go off on a, on a tangent around it, this. So it sounds like you just want to keep it simple, which I totally understand. Yeah, exactly. I, I try I, I, in my opinion, like the, the simpler it is, the easier it is to understand. The less controversial things are, the less debates. Um, yeah, the simpler, the better, in my opinion. You know, so so from what I can gather, our delegators are fine with the ten percent tax. And then, um, so I guess my follow up question is: is the is is the allocator going to distribute the funds? You know, who is in charge at that point of distributing funds? Because I'm assuming. If this goes to a governance proposal, uh, that's going to be the next sticking point is who's in charge of distributing funds from the pool. And um, if that's already been decided and I'm just not aware of it, I'm, I'm sorry for asking a dumb question. <laughs> no, so in reality, nothing, nothing related. I, Andrea, I don't know if you can continue. Yeah, uh, I can answer that um, or um, if that's okay. Um, um, to your point, your question, nothing changes. Um, the um, atoms are being allocated to the community pool, um, are being stored there as the community uh, decentralized treasury. And any team that wants to, um, to uh, use the funds to build on some ideas, th- those could be, I don't know, um, atom two ideas or, um, or whatever ideas of funding and um, development they might have. They just make a request towards the community pool uh, by um, putting out um, a governance proposal, which is a community spend proposal for specific um, spends, in which they are detailing what they need the money for, how those money will be used, um, the deliverables that they expect to have, um, mostly doing um, a proposal of funding uh, with as much details as possible to be able to justify the need for the spend and the uh, allocation of the funds that they are requesting. So in a way, the decision of allocation of funds 
um, remains in the hands of Cosmos Hub governance. And like we have voted in the past for um, a lot of um, uh, governance proposals for a uh, spend of um, done from the community community pool, um, we will proceed like uh, like this in the future. Um, of course, depending on um, the scope of uh, of the request, um, I believe um, there are measures in place for us to be more permissive as a community. Um, um, but that depends from uh, from case to case, and uh, as I said, the decision is of the um, 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 community uh, to um, um, to have. Gotcha. Okay, yeah. thank you so much. If I can add something, uh, I think that uh, the answer to the dollar value or, or atom goal, uh, it's actually uh, the answer that brought Adrian. I think uh, it is uh, the best one in this sense because uh, she basically said that the 4 million atom goal will basically come actually as a meeting point also with Atom 2.0 because they were uh, looking for the 4 million atom tranche. So in this sense, uh, if we uh, if we set a goal of 4 million atom in a year, actually the proposal uh, appear as a meeting point uh, between uh, uh, the people that were looking to the 4 million atom and the people that were looking to a different way of funding. So in this sense, uh, this is, could be a good first goal because actually it appears to the community as a, a meeting point. And uh, I, I also, uh, I was reading on the forum the, the message of uh, Made in Block. And uh, I think that beside the, the dollar amount value, the, they, they also brought uh, an interesting argument about uh, the possibility of a dynamic uh, tax, community tax for helping bottom validators. Uh, I'm not into uh, this uh, technical argument, but uh, if someone uh, can uh, can add some talk on this, maybe it could be interesting because uh, I saw some concern in the community, even today discussing on Telegram, about uh, that maybe bottom validators could have uh, other times. Uh, I, I maybe would like to know from validators if there is something concrete here that can be done to help uh, uh, also bottom validators to feel more safe and uh, in line with the uh, with the community tax. Is that the part where people were saying the tax would be lower on smaller validators and higher yeah, on exactly. larger validators? Gotcha. I don't I don't have an opinion personally, so I'll just listen. Is this something that in Damien, for example, in your opinion, would be possible to add? It makes sense to consider uh, will this uh, create more conflict or uh, or even how did you plan to reach the uh, community consensus before having the final version? Uh, is there uh, a possible solution that can be uh, included as, yeah, as option from the many that you are all considering for the community? Yeah, uh, so initially, uh, I, I didn't uh, consider this sort of variable tax depending on your voting power. Um, in my eyes, I don't know how technical it would be to implement um, this sort of, um, this sort of uh, arrangement, so to speak. Um, regarding sort of consensus, I think... It might actually be, in, in my opinion, right, this is just me speaking, it might be harder to get um, like an agreement from those that are, uh, that have more voting power, right? Um, because obviously they're going to be taxed much more. Um, so initially, you know, having a flat tax rate across um across the uh, validator set was the, the easiest and the simplest uh, sort of way to reach sort of consensus, right? Uh, I don't know if uh, Francesco um, has anything else to add to this. Yeah, I think over the years, like we've tried to figure out a way how to uh, make uh, the validator set as fair as possible, especially, and be more inclusive to, to um, lower validators. I mean, I was in favor of a 
five percent commission tax that would have helped, but that didn't go through. Um, but I think like currently um, having a, valid, a, a variable um, rate of tax depending on voting power is not possible, uh, and there has there would have to be some development work to be done for this to be done. And possibly such development work could be funded by the community pool. I think there's like a you know further work like this um, is what the, the Cosmos Hub needs funding for. Uh, I know there are a lot of developers working on the Cosmos SDK already, but uh, something like this needs further development work, and it's clearly something the Cosmos Hub needs more of. Um, so I think it could be something, in my opinion, that we we discussed like after. Uh, a flat tax is imposed, and then uh, we can discuss. You know, over the, over the years, there have been many discussions around the UBIs, around you know making the, the lower validator set, you know, giving incentives to lower validators rather than the the top, you know, twenty, for example. Um, so, yeah. in, in my opinion, I, I'm like I really like just the simpler, the better. We take it one step at a time. If we want to incentivize lower validators, lower you know, voting power validators, we sort of take that discussion and, you know, move it into another forum post and we just discuss and optimize the process there. Um, I like stay, taking it a step at a time. I think it's just, um, especially since these decisions are going to be, need to include the whole community, like the simpler the decisions are, uh, just as we saw with the latest proposal, the more we bundle into one proposal, the more controversial it is. Um, and I, we just take it a step at a time, in my opinion. Totally agree. Yeah, totally agree with Francesco also because uh, you're not only taxes, taxing uh, more, the bigger validators, but you're also changing the final APR for the for those who stake. So you incentivize also uh, to decentralize your stake more. Uh, but yeah, let's don't make this... Uh, Proposal controversial and take one step at a time will be definitely better. Yeah, uh, this makes really sense. Maybe Adriana, you wanted to add something because we wrap up the conversation. Yeah, for sure. So uh, to Damien's point and also to Francesca's point and also everyone who is in agreement here, um, we do want to see um, uh, more development and more ideas coming from uh, um, from the community in terms of how we can adjust uh, uh, this particular proposal uh, in the future. Um, we could actually reach uh, a solution which is far better than um, this current one which is proposed um, that could align um, um, things like um, how we're able to um, uh, no, to to tax more on high validators and tax uh, um, lower on uh, on the small ones. How we're able to uh, create um, a dynamic uh, type of allocation to the community pool, uh, which is influenced and is uh, which accounts for the changes in the dynamic par parameters uh, that affects it. Um, how we're able to maybe put a dollar amount to that collection. There was also. Um, one concern from a community member saying that uh, while we account for a certain amount of atoms in the community pool, um, it is more sustainable long term to think of how we're able to tie that um, atom collection to uh, a certain flat amount, uh, which will be, uh, of course, an, an, uh, dynamic as well, because depending on the price of, of the atom, that collection will be dynamic. So. Um, collecting more atoms in the community pool when the price of the atom is low and collecting less atoms in the community pool when, for example, the price of the atom is, uh, is high. Uh, these are all valid solutions. Um, and um, personally, I'm looking forward to see those types of proposals and those types of ideas emerging from the community, especially from, um, uh, from the developers among, uh, among us and hopefully we have some some of them in, in the call here. Um, and we'll be more than willing to support whatever decision and solution makes sense and is in alignment with what the community wants um, and how um, and what the community wants and also what, what is best for, for the hub uh, long term. Um, just to, to add to here, um, if we want a solution uh, which could be effective 
as soon as possible in order to start collecting those um, atoms that we need in the community pool for the teams who are currently working on the hub to feel incentivized to request money uh, and to start working on the products that we so much want to to see coming from the hub, then uh, I'm in agreement that uh, this easier solution of adding a flat tax um, for the community pool is currently the easiest um, and the most doable uh, that uh, that we have and can be applied with just a parameter change uh, immediately. Uh, long term, yes, let's explore solutions, let's explore ideas, let's see how to best um, um, uh, frame um, that for a long sustainable um, um, community pool for, for the hub. Um, ju- just to note that it will take some development work. Uh, just to give an example, um, the inflation um, that uh, um, um, is being calculated to the uh, due to the mint module um, depends on so many things, right? You, ha- you have the blocks uh, that um, uh, you calculate the um, uh, the tax from. Um, you have uh, the variation in uh, in the bonding. You have the variation in the EPR. Um, and all of these changes are so dynamic that um, it's, it's going to be hard to, to get the right uh, mechanism in, uh, in place. So even if you, for example, add a flat amount to go to the community pool every month or um, every day um, from the total blocks which are being created and therefore the tax applied to those blocks which are being uh, creating an inflation accordingly, then it still leaves some um, some room for um, that you'll need to change um, the way other um, um, uh, modules are are working. So it's not us changing just the community pool tax parameter, but we have to uh, to work with the other modules and find solutions on how they're able to, for example, um, the main module to direct money to the community pool through this. Um, uh, flat tax uh, amount, which is which means that you also need to change the mechanics of uh, of the module per se to allow for a different type of allocation. Um, yeah, just a bit of a context that um, uh, it might need um, some uh, some work on uh, on the engineering side, and we're more than welcome to um, to to see that uh, those solutions emerging. It's just that if we need an immediate solution right now to not waste more time and to start, you know, incentivizing team to request money from the community pool. Um, for us, this is the easiest solution at hand. Uh, we we've seen online some of the uh, <clears throat> influential original people uh, in Cosmos are saying that this needs to be done ASAP, and I'm wondering if someone could please highlight for us all how uh, quickly this. <clears throat> pardon me. <clears throat> How quickly this all really needs to be done? Uh, does this need to be done yesterday, or is there sixty days, or thirty days, or ninety days? You know, what what what's a window that really matters? If someone could please talk more about that, I would just make the small note, Adriana. Just sorry for interrupting you. That uh, no ASAP is more important than doing things right. I think that what we all got, like the big lesson from proposal 82 and all the other proposal is that Russian thing without uh, having a now context, without uh, finding a good degree of agreement on prior is never the road of the poverty is recommendable. And even if we, I think we can all agree that we could, should have started yesterday to increase the community pool and thinking about how we can uh, bring together ideas about how to improve the uh, Cosmos app and reinvest what the community pool has uh, as treasury. Uh, I don't think that um, right now, as Francesco was saying earlier, uh, it's really so important to rush things in one, two, three days of everything out, uh, but maybe have a realistic time, timeline as having the end of the voting period before the end of the year or something like this might be, might even give us the um, time to start thinking about the next step because of, this is just the first one at the end of the day. Like this is how we are going to 
um, to be able to make the next step because we are going to have treasury to do this. We are going to have uh, um, security that we are going to have enough to build. We're going to have something uh, real, a real solid basis to build something important, but there is way, way more to start thinking about it. So I think that uh, ASAP, yeah, but not rush. I think that the word rush should be banded in the Cosmos app. Like we work at our very best when we uh, do things together with the right time. Like the right time is good enough. Yeah, I second that, uh, Daniela. Um, um, if we are able to get as much um, input and feedback um, as possible um, in this discussion period, um, organize this um, 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 type of initiatives like uh, the community call, which is like a great initiative to um, to speak and to connect with the community members to share ideas and to discuss on the proposals. Um, um, I know maybe have it like a weekly type of uh, meeting. Um, uh, invite more people to join. Uh, community members, validators, uh, engineers. Um, I believe we as a community will need um, uh, all hands on deck <laughs> uh, to be able to to move this uh, this forward. And to um, to uh, to the question uh, before, which was. Um, uh, how soon do we need that? Um, I would say uh, that um, there are members in, in the community, engineer teams, who would like to uh, start building on some of the initiatives which were discussed in um, in uh, in this past months. Um, the only concern is that they might make a request to the community pool uh, right now, um, which doesn't have a lot of funds, only, as you know, 1.2 million atoms, which is roughly like um, 10, 11 um, million dollars. Um, and their request could, uh, in their in their own words, could drain the community pool. Um, and they, uh, they are concerned that the community will not accept their request because um, um, there will be not uh, a lot of money left in the community pool. So, to that point, um, if we are able to come together as a as a community to um, 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 to to agree on how to increase those funds in the community pool with this proposal or a version of this proposal, um, that will give them more confidence uh, to start putting a plan together and start to request money from the community pool, knowing that um, we are on an expedite um, um, path towards. Uh, increasing uh, the funds in, in the community pool. Yeah, I think that this is a way. Like, we are no, we know that we need it. We are all committed to do this. But at the same time, we want to do things right, which is the most important thing. Uh, one knows about having people that might feel afraid the community will not um, support them because they think that the community pool is going to be drained out. I really hope not because I think that the hub community is, I mean, for me, it's special, but I also think that it's one of the best that we have around. And I also think that uh, we have a great sense to recognize value. We might be not always in agreement, but uh, in the past, we always recognize value and we attract value in the, in a lot of occasions. So I will be confident on the sense that we are going to recognize value if the, we're going to meet it. Um, okay, guys, I mean, we are yep. way past, <laughs> we are past, um, uh, pi, uh, which for me is five, it should be four in UTC. Uh, any uh, last forward by anyone before wrapping up the conversation? Yeah, last thing, Daniel, as you said before, even if right now we are going to discuss one more month this uh, proposal about the community tax, the, the hub doesn't stop. So if we manage like to have uh, uh, budget spending from teams that want to build on Cosmos uh, the, the, for the ICS, will be also helpful to determine the parameters for the for this proposal. 
Yes, like, that's true. I mean, posting them on train right now it could, couldn't be helpful, but uh, if they can discuss this previously, it would be out and out. I mean, it makes sense. It makes absolutely sense. Uh, with this, I will thank everyone who participated to the community call. It was really a rich one. And I mean, I mean, I would say that I'm surprised, but I'm not because uh, every time that we meet up together, we bring a lot of value together. Uh, I really would love to see this reflected in all our community channel. I hope it's going to be like this in the future. But yeah, thank you so much to everyone. It was just great to having you all here and having your contribution to the call. Uh, catch you up really, really, really soon. We are going to make this appointment more regular uh, as soon as we have more more people on board. Unfortunately, we were a little bit under the weather uh, behind the scenes. But thank you. Thank you so much to everyone and see you guys soon in the channels. Thank you for organizing this and thank you everyone for participating. Yeah. Thank you, Daniela. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you, guys. Bye.